Executive Board, Oliver Bloom. Wow, so many people. It's a great privilege to us to present our new 718 GTS models here today in Los Angeles. With this debut, we can offer now a GTS version for each Porsche sports car. Every GTS delivers pure Porsche driving fun, uncompromised comfort, and exclusive features. Good morning, Los Angeles. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Porsche. For the 718 GTS, the power increases to 365 horsepower, that's up 15 horsepower, up on the S version, and up 35 on the previous Boxster and Cayman GTS. The six-speed manual is standard, equipped with the optional PDK twin-clutch transmission. It will hit 60 miles per hour in under four seconds, and a maximum speed of 180 miles per hour. The standard equipment list is very long and of course the cars have the hallmark GTS looks with a matte black detailing. We are launching the 718 GTS models here in California, the app, of the, the home of the app. So we've included the new Porsche Track Precision app and this app allows GTS drivers to record and analyze data from track sessions instantly on their phone. And when I come to Los Angeles, it always strikes me. The sports cars from Southern Germany look perfect here in Southern California. From Porsche's early days on, the United States has influenced our cars. The 911 Targa was designed especially for the US market. And before that, just five years after Porsche was born, our US importer, Max Herfman, had California in mind when he asked for the iconic 356 Speedster. Today, the United States is the biggest global market for our Tudor sports cars. Last year, we sent almost as many 911 and 718s here to the US as to our next biggest markets. Germany and China, the two of them combined. And a quarter of these cars ship to just one state, this one. <laughs> if California were a country, it would be our fifth largest market for sale of all Porsche models. California is not just known to favor pure sports cars, but as a pioneer of electric mobility. This is why we brought a car over here that combines power and sustainability in an uncompromised manner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our new Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sports Turismo. As in the sports sedan, the 4 liter V8 engine of our sports Turismo, Turismo in a combination with this plug-in hybrid system produces a system output of 680 horsepower. Wow. This powertrain makes the Panamera the most powerful luxury sedan in the world. And like the sedan, the Sports Turismo will travel 30 miles on electric power alone, free of tailpipe emission. At the same time, it pushes that incredible range of abilities even further. It has the same extreme performance and environmental responsibility. But with the tailgate and extra load space also offers greater versatility than any other car in its class. And like our Tudor sports cars, our e-performance hybrids are very popular here in the US. Last year, sales of our Cayenne hybrid alone increased by 66%. With the new Panamera e-performance models, the importance of our hybrids here in the US is increasing constantly. As well as, of course, our new Porsche Cayenne. The third generation makes its US auto show debut here today. You may think of it as a sports utility vehicle. For us, it's simply another Porsche sports car, but one 
that's ready for any kind of adventure. Under the sportier exterior design, there's room for a new and highly efficient turbocharged engine and state-of-the-art digital connectivity. In a moment, my colleague Detlef von Platen will present you another global debut. One which, for me, really distills the essence of Porsche. the executive board, sales and marketing, Mr. Detlef von Nacken. And here it is, the newest addition to our 911 family, the new Carrera T, here on the stage. You know, I'm happy, so happy to be back here in the United States, back home for this world premiere. You know, it's only fitting that we launched this car here in Los Angeles. Oliver mentioned that Southern California always had a great love affair with Porsche. And the United States is our biggest market for the 911, which is the core of our brand. It's a, it's a quintessential sports car. The new 911T is a thoroughbred 911. It's raw, it's authentic and unconcealed, made for the pure Porsche experience. Now the very first 911T back in 68 had the same concept, with a base engine producing just 110 horsepower and stripped down to the essentials it gave Porsche its first World Rally victory in Monte Carlo 50 years ago this coming January. Back then the T stood for touring as it does today. With a new carrier T, we are celebrating its comeback. This car is really made for Porsche enthusiasts, for connoisseurs who drive their 911 for the sheer sake of driving, for those who love the agile and unique Porsche feeling and the mighty sound of the flat six engine. This is not a marketing exercise. This car, this car was conceived on the test track of our R&D center in Weissach by engineers that love to drive fast. And we, the Porsche board, have embraced this initiative wholeheartedly. Let me sketch out just a few details of our new 911 currency. First, less is more. Here, it's about less weight and more driving emotions. Rear window and the rear side windows are made of lightweight glass. The material is similar in weight to polycarbonate. And when you, the optional full bucket seats are selected, the rear seats are taken out, which provides you with a further weight reduction of 45 pounds. And to further intensify an unfiltered 911 driving pleasure, we included some special features, like the seven-speed manual transmission, a standard with shorter transmission ratios, or the PDK as an option. The sports exhaust system, the PSM sports chassis lowering the car by 20 millimeters, Porsche torque vectoring, and of course the 20 inch carrier S wheels enhancing the grip for excellent road holding. We are really pleased that this idea of purest and light vehicles appeals to more and more customers. The success of the 911 
clearly contributes to our strong sales performance. As of October, we are both worldwide and in North America, 4% ahead of last year. In just 10 months, we delivered 206,000 new Porsches globally and more than 52,000 here in North America, where we expect further growth. Especially for our Panamera, this car performs very well. Worldwide, we have sold more than 21,000 units until October, a 78% increase compared to last year. And the new Panamera Sport Turismo will add further momentum. We are proud that we have such loyal fans and customers here in the United States. You probably remember that we opened the second Porsche Experience Center in Los Angeles last year. Together with the one in Atlanta, we have welcomed over 130,000 guests so far. Our Experience Centers fuel the passion for Porsche here in the United States. And if you want to see that passion come alive, Come back to California in September next year for Rennsport Reunion 6, hosted by Porsche Cars North America. It's the world's largest gathering of Porsche race cars and fans. And over the course of four days, the worldwide Porsche family, collectors, enthusiasts gather to celebrate the rich history of Porsche motorsports. In 2015, the last one, almost 60,000 people and 5,000 race and sports cars made a pilgrimage to the Porsche Mecca in Laguna Seca. So, put it on your agenda. We are really looking forward to seeing you there in Laguna Seca on September 27, 2018. Thank you very much.